Howdy y'all, I think that started. Yeah, it did. Uh, so I wanted to try a little bit something new and a little bit something different. I've been uh, talking to a bunch of people and what keeps coming up is is the fact that I do have all this knowledge in my head about music and and stuff. And I keep coming on here and I keep playing stuff and I keep saying, oh, I, I, I suck. And I'm personally, I think I do suck as a guitar player. And I, my point is to get better um, and someday be as good as hopefully, you know, a lot of you guys out there because a lot of you guys are way better than I am. And, you know, I, my goal is to be, you know, like Eric Clapton or Stevie Ray Vaughan or, or Eddie Van Halen. But, uh, you know, those guys were just amazing. And it did take hard work. I don't know if I'm going to have that much time in my life. So uh, that's the goal. But I don't know if I'm going to get there. But since I do have all this knowledge in my head, I can also impart wisdom as I go, as I'm, as I'm making these things, because I do know stuff about the artists themselves that I could actually be, you know, relating to you guys, because you ever heard of a guy called Elias McDaniel? Right, probably not, because, but you've probably heard... <laughs> your name is Elias McDaniels and you, you get a an entire beat named after you you probably want it to be the Bo Diddley beat instead so they, they, he was he was born he, that was his his given well his given name was um Oates I think but uh family things happened he got uh he was raised by a cousin and um was adopted by uh, that that cousin, so he, he had both names, his given name and the McDaniel, and uh, he just uh, adopted that and then changed it to Bo Diddley. And I did not know; I just found this out that uh, he, everybody associates Bo Diddley with the guitar, and I always knew him as you know as, a, as one of those guys that was in between. Um, he, he was on the on, on the forefront of the first wave of rock and roll in between blues and rock and he was one of those guys that did the crossovers and he was amazing and uh, if you ever see the movie Trading Places he's the pawnbroker um, when Lewis goes into pawn his, his watch and start um, yeah well in Philadelphia it's worth $50 uh, that's Bo Diddley uh, and so you know d dude was amazing um, he was actually classically trained on the violin he apparently was so good at the violin that people just asked him to be in church choirs and, and such and he just uh, went from there um they they went to him because he was so good <laughs> but he like he liked the guitar and uh they that box style guitar is was certainly um uh, recognizable um and just you know, his whole persona was just <laughs> And that's so easy to do too, because you can completely cheat on this thing, and it's just an, an E and an A, and, and then it's just. I'm cheating, man. I'm completely cheating. I'm just, But you, all you got to do is get that that Bo Diddley beat. Then you got to... Uh, it's supposed to end, end with a better flourish. Yeah. 
So anyways, uh, yeah, man, just a E, A, and... Uh... This concludes today's lesson from Professor Mike. <laughs> anyways, I hope you all is having a great day. Um, it is Sunday, isn't it? I'm a little late today. I got up a little late. I talked to mom on Sundays and uh mom's good she's enjoying you know, an immense amount of snow in vermont so mom is very happy right now um but yeah man i hope you all is having a great day uh it is sunday uh always remember to look up happy birthday johnny van zandt um and uh, i'll see you then peace